This video is brought to you by Ultium 365 via the World Design Electronics. In today's episode, I'm going to track my car location using Arduino, Neo 6M GPS module and the GSM 7 900A module. I've also added some other cool features which I will practically test in a minute. In my previous video, I implemented geofencing technology in an attempt to reinforce my car security. As I have elaborated in my previous video, you can define a virtual boundary around an area with the help of geofencing by means of using GPS coordinates. In a similar fashion, I built up a virtual fence for my car so that whenever my car happened to go out of that prescribed area, I received an alert message on my cell phone which prompted me that the car is outside the fence. Geofencing technology can be applied in order to track any sort of thing. It can indicate when does a car or any other vehicle or thing enters that particular area or leaves it. So if you are interested to, to implement and take advantage of the all important geofencing technology, you must inevitably watch my previous video. I will provide a link in the description. Anyhow, let us move toward our original topic, how to track my car location. Nowadays, the ratio of car stealing has enhanced to a shocking extent throughout the world. If a car has been stolen and no tracker was fixed on it, it virtually becomes impossible to locate that car. You can do nothing about your stolen car except that you have extraordinary level contacts and try and track your car through its number by means of checking each and every CCTV footage. However, it is hard for everyone to have access to these high level contacts and utilize such a procedure in order to locate a pilfered car. So if you're not lucky enough to have contacts or huge approaches, then it is compulsory that we purchase or otherwise manufacture some type of a GPS tracking system so as to track our car. As an engineer, I shall prefer that I design a customized GPS tracking system for my car where I may add some extra features according to my choice and needs. Here is a prototype model of my Arduino based GPS tracking system, the finalization work of which is still in progress. When all the testing tasks have been finished, then I will design a PCB and an enclosure for it. Anyways, the features which I have added until now include number one, tracking a car location. However, without any need for recourse to an internet service or any type of online dashboard. We can just find out the location of our car with the help of a cell phone. We have to send just an SMS from our cell phone and the tracking system will send us the car's GPS coordinates along with the Google map URL link. And then with the help of Google map, we can track the exact location of our car. This is really an amazing feature through which you can learn about the precise location of your car at any moment. Number two, I've also added a feature of speed monitoring into it. Mostly my brothers drive the car and I do not want them to indulge in overspeeding. So whenever they cross a certain speed limit, a buzzer will beep loudly in the car. It will keep honking until the car speed has been reduced to the desired limits. If you want that along with a buzzer, a message may also be passed on to the near and ts one back at home. You have to modify my program slightly, which can be done quite easily. When you study the code, you will have an idea of where the modification is going to be desired. Number three, the third feature is an extremely important one, which is extent monitoring. During accidents, people do not often have that much time to resort to their cell phones in order to get family members informed about the incident. Therefore, I have added this button for demonstration purposes. As soon as this button is pressed, an extant alert message will be delivered to family members who will also have GPS coordinates of the accident location. You can imply such buttons or limit switches or sensors anywhere on your car's front, back or along its sides. You have to do just a little adjustment in the program. I think we have discussed the topic fairly well. Now let's practically check this system. 
Ultium 365 lets you hold the fastest design reviews ever. Share your designs from anywhere and with anyone with a single click. It's easy. Leave a comment taking your teammate and they will instantly receive an email with a link to the design. Anyone you invite can open the design using a web browser. Using the browser interface, you are able to comment, markup, cross probe, inspect and more. Comments are attached directly to the project, making them viewable within Ultimate Designer as well as through the browser interface. Design, share and manufacture all in the same space with nothing extra to install or configure. Connect to the platform directly from Ultium Designer without changing how you already design electronics. Ultium 365 requires no additional licenses and comes included with your subscription plan. If you want to start with Ultium Designer, then you can click on the first link in the description. My brother is going to steal the car and after reaching a certain location, he will stop it. I have no idea about that location and so I will have to find out my car's location with the help of my Arduino based tracking system and smartphone. So let's do it. 20 minutes have passed since my brother has driven away the car. Now I'm going to find the car's location. I have done its programming in such a way that if you send a blank message or write any character in the message, the tracking system will respond in both situations. Anyways, I have received a replay from my tracking system. You can see there is a Google Map URL link. I can determine the exact location of my car by clicking on this link. I guide you along with my phone screen towards that location so that you may understand and see everything by yourself. Here are the GPS coordinates of my car's location. Now if I click on start, Google Map will show me the approximate time as well as indicate the approximate direction. So let us move on a bike towards the location. And here it is my car which we have located with the help of an Arduino based GPS tracking system. As I have mentioned in the beginning, I have also introduced an accident location tracking feature in this system. It also works similarly. The only difference is that in case of an accident, it sends a message automatically. I have fixed a button on the front bumper of my car. As soon as it is pressed, I immediately receive an accident alert message. Now let us check our speed monitoring feature. For this purpose, I'm about to sit in my car and practically see what happens when the car speed exceeds the speed limit, whether the buzzer turns on or not. Amazing, the buzzer has also turned on. So far, my design GPS car tracking system has done everything perfectly and I also feel delighted about it. In the future, I'm planning to add some extra features to it. That's when somebody tries to open a car's door or its bonnet. I receive a message on my cell phone or maybe some other feature. You can also tell me in a comment which features I need to add. Now you have got an idea of what exactly you are going to learn after watching this video. So without any further delay, let's get started.
project. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. All the electronics are powered up using a 5 volts regulated power supply. Make sure the power supply is around 2 amps. The RXD and TXD pins of the GSM 7900A module are connected with the Arduino pins D8 and D7. The RXD and TXD pins of the Neo 6M GPS module are connected with the Arduino pins D10 and D9 respectively. A push button is connected with the Arduino pin D12. I connected everything as per the circuit diagram and now let's take a look at the programming. These are the same libraries I have been using in all of my GPS based projects. Next I defined pins for the GPS and GSM modules. I also defined a pin to which a push button is connected. I also defined a pin for the buzzer. Finally I defined some variables which are well commented. Inside the setup function we activate the GSM module, serial communication and GPS module. I defined the push button as the input and buzzer as the output. Send SMS function is a user defined function which has no return type and it takes only one variable as the argument which is of the type string. Inside this function we define the number on which we want to send the message. Inside the loop function we constantly check if any data is available from the GPS module then we read and encode the data and then immediately the display info function is called. Let's go to the display info function. The purpose of the display info function is to read the latitude, longitude and speed in kilometers per hour. You can also use this other information but for now I'm only interested in latitude, longitude and speed values. If the push button is pressed, which I'm using for the car head detection, an extend alert message is sent to the concerned person. The message consists of Google's map, URL link, and the latitude and longitude values. These lines of code are used for speed monitoring. If the GSM module has received any message, then the same data is sent to the concerned person. So that's all about the programming. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.